Hello. In this series of seven videos, we're going to sketch the ten most popular parent functions. In this fourth video, we're going to graph the cube and the cube root function. y equals x cubed, y equals the cube root of x. Let's do y equals x cubed first. And like we've been doing, we're going to make a table of values. For every value of x, we're going to figure out the y. And it's nice to sometimes pick some simple values say negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then figure out what the y values would be. Now again, we're cubing, so negative 3 times a negative 3 times a negative 3 is still a negative. It's going to be a negative 27. Negative 2 cubed is going to be negative 8. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 0 cubed is 0. 1 cubed is 1. 2 cubed is 8. And 3 cubed is 27. Now I'm going to run out of room here, so I won't be able to graph the 3 and the negative 3, because it, it goes very, very steeply. So let's start off with negative 2, comma, negative 8. Negative 1, comma, negative 1. 0, comma, 0. 1, comma, 1. 2, comma, 8. And then 3 is, this is 17, 18, 19, 20. It's going to be off the chart somewhere up here. And likewise, the other one's going to be down here. So if we were to sketch this, it's going to look something like this. All right, it goes very, very steeply up and then does a little jig at 0, 0, and then goes very steeply down. So the sketch, and let me just draw a very small sketch of this graph. The sketch of y equals x cubed looks like this. All right, this is a very approximate sketch. Now let's do the cube root function. And again, cube root, it's nice if we plug in values that actually have a perfect cube. So for every value of x, we can calculate a y value. And let's just plug in numbers that have a perfect cube root. Well, 0, the cube root of 0 is 0, so there's a point. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. So there's a point. And the cube root of 1 is 1. So that's pretty easy, those, those numbers. But let's pick a number that has a cube root. Say, negative 8. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So we're going to go to negative 8, negative 2. Likewise, the cube root of 8 is 2. So 8, comma 2. And I hope you see this is going to have this similar jig. The next cube roots we have are negative 27, which is 3, negative 3, and 27, which is 3. So that's going to be way, way off the chart here and way over here. So let's graph this. We're, and again, these are just sketches, sketches of these parent graphs. These are not mathematically precise. So the sketch of the graph y equals cube root of x looks like this. And again, compare this to y equals x cubed, which looked like this. If we turn it sideways, actually we have to reflect it, reflect it along the line y equals x. But these two graphs look very similar to each other. 